That's for the student athletes only, so they can go shower up and then questions for Mitch. Well, I, I was really, uh, I thought we played really well. It was, it's a shame that uh, you know, it came down to a couple of plays late in, in, in the regulation. I thought the, the biggest play of the game, that uh, I thought the difference in the game was the Davis three. I mean, if we stop him there, I think we win the game. So, uh, you know, we, we came out of a timeout. I said to switch, and we forgot. Uh, we, you know, we're a young team. Um, it's, it's happened in three or four games now. We don't foul the right guy. We don't, we don't listen to what we're supposed to do. And... Um, you know, that's a game we should have won. Um, you know, we, we didn't made a cr critical mistake at a bad time. But other than that, the effort was great. Uh, phenomenal uh, res resolve on our kids. Um, having to play Friday night and play a tough Princeton team, I think we showed a lot of uh, grit. And I was real happy with the uh, effort. Questions for Ryan or Owen? Hey, Owen. Can you talk about the Moravis three? You were on, it seemed like you were pretty up on him on the play. Yeah. What was supposed to happen? Uh, I just tried to get up on him as best I could, and uh, I think if I would have jumped more, I could have blocked it. But uh, I didn't want to foul him, and it was just a—it was a real tough shot, and he hit it, put it into overtime. Did he kind of double clutch that a little bit? I don't know if you could tell from. Uh, I don't remember. I just know it was a great shot. <clears throat> Brian, can you talk about the game Maddox had against you guys today? Um, I mean, he played—he played great. We knew he was a good, very good low post player, uh, very athletic, and we just we game deep post position every time, and he drilled us. We knew we wanted to force him off the block. We never did it, and he made us play. Any other questions for Ryan or Owen? Ryan, do you feel like this is really one that slipped away that you guys should have won? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you're, I mean, you're up six with 30 seconds left, and like Coach said, we came out of a huddle, showed our experience. We didn't focus. Didn't switch on a three. They hit it, and um, you know that was the biggest play of the game. You know, if, if we just get a stop there and switch or even give them a layup after 15 seconds, we're up four, going to get fouled. But we just showed our immaturity and, you know, a lack of focus today, and they hit the three. And then uh, Moradies, that was just a great shot, but you don't want to ever put him in a position to hit a shot like that. He's such a tremendous shooter. Any other questions for the players? Okay, thanks, guys. Questions for Mitch now? I not see the stats, but free throws. Yeah, also, uh, no question. We missed, we missed uh, some big ones. I mean, they were making everything. I don't know what they shot, but they uh, their free throw shooting was, I, I, I'm sure, way better than ours. And I'm just going on recollection. I don't have a stat sheet. Again, but you said on the Mavaritas three, was it you wanted to defend? No, no, that, that was fine. Okay. No, the, the, the play before that, we, we were up six. I had told the kids I wanted to switch everything. And and it was a play involving Odie Anasicki and Brookins, and they both ran. They didn't switch. That's how he got so open. I mean, and to me, that was the that was the play more so than the Mavradis play. If they, they don't make the three, there, the game's over. I think. I think we win the game. You know, we we we, we get a stop there. It's, it's over. That play lost the game. Anything in particular going on in overtime that they were able to do? That kind they of just played really well. Um, I mean, they they're a good team. They. Uh, you know, I've watched them on tape. I mean, they're a, they're a real good team. They're not an Ivy League team, in my opinion. And I've said this. I think they could play with a lot of teams in our league. Um, they showed Mavradis is a, is a senior, made some great plays. Davis is a terrific point guard. Um, you know, we needed a – we played really well and, and, and just came up short. You know, they're going to win a lot of games, Princeton. I mean, you had said Maddox was their most athletic big, but I mean, he did go for 30. I think his previous career was 18. Do you think he was capable of in that kind of game? Uh, well, we were more concerned with the three guys, with Hummer, um, Mavradis, and, and Davis. Uh, Maddox is averaging six a game. So we went in, and, you know, we didn't expect that. I mean, he, he played great. You know, we, we didn't expect that from Maddox, but he's, he's a good player. The block, the block you had... They were up six, and Hummer had to lay up about five minutes ago. Right. And numbers that, that looked like that had changed the game for you. Good, got you, good, good play, got, kept you in the game. And yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, that was play. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. The time, yeah. Yes, it did. Yeah, it did change the game. Yeah, yeah. I think that was a play Wignot made where he yeah. came out of nowhere. It was a hell of a play. Yeah, it did change the game. You're right. We, we came back pretty quick. Yeah, pretty quickly after that. This game kind of indicative of how Owen has developed a little bit. He talked about that last week a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's playing well, Mike. You know, he's, and plus he's, he's logging a lot of minutes. I mean, I 
I didn't go to the bench much in the second half because I, I, I felt you know I had to keep the guys in to win the game, and uh, you know, he's logging a lot of minutes, so he's a little tired. You know, he, he, he's guarding some bigger guys today. You know, he's guarding um, Harmer plays like a, a big forward. I mean, he's strong, and uh, you know it's a tough matchup for him. But I thought he I thought he played well on it. It was good minutes. What do you think, Mitch? I mean, tough two weeks stretched to open the season. Now you get a few days off to get ready for Albany. How do you feel about the, how do you feel coming out of this? Opening stretch at the two and four. Well, you know, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, you know, I thought we could have gotten a couple of these games. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I try and spend a lot of time on late game stuff. You know, it's frustrating. I mean, I do that in practice. And, and when you don't have experienced players, you know, in those situations, they make mistakes. It's just, it's the way it is. You got to live with it. You know, we're not a, we don't have Ubalis Moore and Franklin on the floor. You know, we don't have those guys late now. So. We're playing with some guys that haven't been through it. We're, we're, we're going to have to live with this kind of stuff early in the year. Last question, anyone? Did you sense that that shot by Mavradis, did that send your team into overtime? Did you, When you were in the huddle before the overtime, you feel your team, your team was a little uh, sharp? Yeah. Was there any carryover from the end of regulation? I think so, overtime? Mark. I think the kids felt pretty good about you know, winning the game. I think the Mavradis three, the Mavradis three uh, Certainly a great shot, but we didn't hang our heads. I think we played pretty well in overtime. I mean, I don't think it was, I don't think it was a nine-point game. I think that was a little misleading. It was a lot closer than that. Okay. Thanks, Mitch.